Here's a video about the uh, Arduino controlled garage door opener. Uh, the cover you see in front of you is just a cover for an outdoor receptacle I bought at Lowe's. I've modified it slightly and uh, installed a keypad that I bought from sparkfun.com. They've got a nice tutorial on there about how to wire this and how to hook it up. Uh, the keypad is used to enter a code. If you enter a wrong code, a little light beeps at you. If you do it again, I just did it wrong again. Well, if you do it three times, it'll beep at you and tell you you've been locked out. So, okay, I entered the correct code, and the green light comes on. Of course, the garage door goes up. If you've seen some of the other videos, there's the uh, bike trailer we built. When I come inside here to the garage, take the cover off. This is the box that I installed the Arduino in. I don't have the world's best lighting in here. Uh, there's the Arduino here. I've installed a uh, screw shield on there. And what that allows me to do is use uh, screw terminals to attach all the wiring. Makes for a pretty nice looking job, if you ask me. That's available from SparkFun or Adafruit.com. I can't remember which one I bought it at. Uh, I've installed a 110 volt receptacle in here. I've got a power supply that I bought from Adafruit. It knocks that down to a voltage that the Arduino uses here on this plug. This button you see here is a manual button. So if you're inside and the garage door is closed or open, or if you want to close it, vice versa, every other time you hit it, it's either going to open or close. Here in the corner, you see a small black relay and a transistor and some other devices on there, some resistors that the keyboard needs and the LED light. Uh, the Arduino doesn't have enough uh, capacity to close that small relay so what I'm doing is I'm firing this transistor here and then the transistor carries the load of the relay. The relay was bought at Radio Shack. It's a 5 volt relay. Uh, you can also see snuck up under there there's a diode in there that uh, clamps any back EMF that might destroy the uh, Arduino when the relay opens and closes, the coil in there creates back EMF. It's as bad for the Arduino. Well, give you a little demonstration of the button here and we'll call it quits. Have a good day.